let's talk about how to use the copying and scanning function if your Rezo has that accessory added onto it. First and foremost, I have here a sample that is duplex, meaning two-sided. I want to talk about first how to create a copy and turn this two-sided sample into a single-sided two-page document. To do so, you would hit the copy button and here you can see there are a variety of options to choose from. I'm going to choose the duplex simplex option. And here I can take a simplex document, keep it simplex, or make it into a simplex duplex document. But in this case, I'm taking it from a duplex document and turning it into a simplex one. Once I've selected that and I told it what way the paper is loaded into the tray, I'll hit OK. I want to make sure I also load the paper into the tray the way I selected. From there, you can hit how many copies you would like, and assuming you only want one copy, go ahead and hit start. And what you can see is the output is now four pages single-sided. It's that simple. Now what if it, you wanted to scan these documents? Maybe send them to someone's email. You can do that two ways. Starting from the home screen, you can have the option to scan using this top tray or using the glass. Because we just used the top tray, let's go ahead and use the glass. First thing I'm gonna do is load the paper on and I'm gonna pay attention to the orientation that I did that. Upon closing it, I'll hit the scan button. You have the option to choose to scan from mail to a PC or to the internal console. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and mail it to somebody, myself. Here, once again, you can select the various options, but primarily what I want to focus on is the way to enter an address. Your work may have already preloaded addresses into the control panel, which makes this a very fast and easy process. But just in case they haven't, you would select direct input. Upon doing so, it will let you type in the email address. Let's go ahead and type mine in right now. It asked me if I wanted to use this every time or just this time. I selected just this time because I'll probably send some things to some other people at some point. You also have the ability to label the address as a different name for a later time. Maybe a nickname or naming a group for a list of addresses so that next time it's easier to refer to. Hit OK again and go ahead and hit start. You can hear that it's scanning right now, and it's going to ask, do you have any other additional pages to scan? Since I don't, I'm going to hit scanned, and it's sending it. If you had more pages, you can see, it gives you the option to hit scan, reload the next page in, and it will scan that as well. And from there, you can see my document has been sent. Once again, it's that easy, because we work on helping you get your work done.